a half-life word problem. So the first thing we need to do is find out the uh, length of the half-life of the substance we have, the original amount of it we have, and then the time in question, or how long we're going to see that it decays. Okay, so we're given that the half-life of plutonium in bone is 100 years. Okay, we're given the original amount, which is 703 grams, and the time in question is 700 years. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is find the number of the half-lives that the object goes through. And you do this by dividing the total time by the half-life time. Okay, so since the total time is 700 years, okay, we divide that by half-life length, which is 100. So that means it's going to go through seven half-lives, or it's going to divide itself in half seven times. Okay, so now that we know that, okay, we can divide the original amount by 2 that many times, right? Since, since it's going to be, um, since it has 7 half-lives, we divide it in 2 7 times. So we start at 703, and then we divide that by 2, and so on. And we keep dividing by 2, divide the answer by 2, the answer by 2, and then until you get to here. Once you divide it by 7, that completes your answer. Okay, all right, so this can get kind of tedious if you have to go through m multiple half-lives. So there is actually a shortcut, okay? So if you can remember this equation and you have a calculator, it'll save you a lot of time. All you have to do is the original amount, and then you multiply that by one half, and you raise that half to the number of half-lives. So you do 703 times one half to the seven. So you still have to find the number of half-lives, but you don't have to divide by so many times. So then you do this, and this will get you the same answer. Okay? So that'll save you a lot of time in the future. And that completes our problem.